Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on day two of ownership of my new Toyota GR Supra. I literally picked it up yesterday and drove it 600 kilometers from London to where you join me now at the Nürburgring, ready to take this car out for its first ever lap. It's basically a passage of rights for a new sports car to go and do a lap on the famous Green Hell. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, joined by Misha. So let's do this then. Supra, Nürburgring, let's go. Today's weather could not be better for the purpose. The Nürburgring Castle here at Apex at the moment, but the Supra currently kind of half in the sun, half out, but you can see the satin silver paintwork, the storm gray as it's called, the A90 edition, which I think means actually this might be the first A90 edition that's gone around the ring, potentially. Certainly probably one of the quickest from new car to doing a ring lap, which does mean, if you're thinking this, running in periods. Now the car can't be driven over four and a half thousand RPM and over 160 kilometers an hour for the first 2000 kilometers. 1,200 miles, which does mean this is going to be an interesting lap, but it's tourist and fart and tourist drives. It's about having fun. It's a toll road. It's open. We can keep to the right if faster cars are behind us. But yes, Supra up front, three litre flat six, twin scroll turbo, 340 horsepower to the rear wheels, 500 newton meters. And by the way, the car is actually running on Pilot Super Sport tires. Where do we have the wording? Down there at the bottom, Super Sport tires. Pretty decent for the purpose. Um, I always love the back of this thing, wearing my SH19 MEE number plate, but yeah, the new Shmi Mobile, ready and set for a lap, where today we are going to be joined by this man. Misha, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Busy weekend? Very, very busy. We have DTM weekend, so lots of stuff happening. And I'm a bit jealous of you because actually by the same time you picked up your car, I got the email from my dealer, <laughs> your Supra is here. I'm like, should we do a double pickup? And now you're going to be the and first I'm... guy uh, around the ring with the Supra, not me. It won't be the fastest Supra around the ring for long though. You're going to take that crown if, if it hasn't already been done. Toyota must have run these around the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah. been like press cars or factory cars, development cars. Um, of course, many of you know that it shares with the, the Z4, blah, blah, blah. Lots of people talk about that all the time. It actually sounds pretty decent and yesterday was my first real drive to get familiar with the car. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, if you haven't already seen the collection day video, do go check it out. I think putting that much mileage on one of these on day one in an A90 edition, well, that's pretty extreme, I think. So let me just jump inside. We will get this started up. In here, all brand new, that new car smell. Into life, you get those bubbles. You've got the sport mode button here. Like I say though, we will have to be yeah, a little bit sensible with the revs. Full tank of fuel, 102 octane as always. And uh, yeah, we'll take this out, go have some fun, see what it's all about. I'm quite excited, you know. I think this is gonna be the first of many laps. Um, I've not driven the ring since earlier in the year, Easter weekend, when we mm. went out with the Senna and the GT and had lots and lots of fun. And Focus RS. Oh yes, and the Red Focus RS, and we had ice cream at Adenau. Yes. That was good fun. So what I know from my experience, is that coming back each time, you have to take it very seriously, just in case you don't remember the lefts and the rights, which is why someone like you who's an expert, who oh, even yeah. did it blindfolded recently. Yeah, yeah. That was mega. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen Misha's video, going around the ring in the passenger seat blindfolded, literally calling out every corner and every kind of curbstone and marking. <laughs> yeah, that was that was quite <laughs> special. I'm, I, I hope uh, one day I'll be able to drive it blindfolded, but uh, ho, ho. I think it will require some more preparation. Than yeah, that. That, that would be pretty serious. Yeah. It's been done, uh, not on the Nürburgring, but it's been done on racetracks. Yeah, with somebody else calling out. Yeah, yeah at Vinci. Silverstone. Yes. But anyway, short little hop from Apex over to the Tourist and Farton entrance. Mm -hmm. This car. I don't know what driving modes to use, really. I cannot help you. It's actually the, the funny fact because, uh, like I told you already, I ordered one and I have mine already waiting yeah. at the dealer for me, but I never sat in one. Oh, saw, this is the first time you ever sat in one? I saw one at Geneva Motor Show. I saw it like a 24 hour race, but it never occurred to me like, oh, let me hop in and see like how the interior looks of the car that I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome <laughs> to your first time inside the Supra, yeah. which, um, Robert at Apex was just joking because I've still got the screen yeah. protector on. Basically looks like I'm preserving the car for someone else. So mm. I think we can do this. Yes. It's gone. <laughs> Shall I keep that? No. Yeah, no. We can, we can yeah. dump that in the glove box or something. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's an actual car that's being driven. <laughs> the screen protector has been ceremonially removed. So I've topped up my card. We should have credit to go out and do a bunch of laps. You can get that in advance to make life even easier. Mm. Um, or pull in at the info center or one of the other locations. But 
I'm expecting it to be fairly busy given the DTM is on. Uh, am I right, or is it going to be okay? Um, it's uh, it's hard to say. Usually, like uh, usually during big events, there are actually uh, less people than there should be. It has mm -hmm. to do with the fact that people make the mistake like, oh, DTM is on, so the track's closed. No, DTM is on GP. It's not on the Nordschleife. Yeah. And then the, the other group of people who are regulars, they're thinking like, oh, there's going to be lots of people during DTM, so I'm going to stay home because I don't want to have all the like the madness. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we see some traffic here, but it's uh, nothing mm. exceptional for uh, Saturday, is it? Today? Yeah, yes. a normal nice Saturday. We've got an M850i convertible up front, a couple of GT3s, lots of your usual ring kind of cars. E36s. Where is my ticket? <laughs> Here is my ticket card. Nurburgring green, green Hell card, mm. which we will buzz when we get to the front and go straight out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no hiding that I've got a Supra now. Yeah. Two AMG GTRs, beasts of the green hell. Um, okay, I've got to be careful. Camera on the window, not making my life easy. But we should be able to do it. Okay, then. The beauty of having one on the right hand side as well. Yep. There we go. Okay, let's get out. Window up, get comfortable. All right, normal road rules apply. Yes. Has anything changed since earlier in the season? Nothing. Perfect. Still the same. Still same old Nordschleife. Okay, so this is quite fun. It feels wrong in a way, but this car is now, uh, I guess, no longer a flipper spec car. <laughs> <laughs> One careful driver and owner, and no miles. No, we are going to take it carefully. So, so what's our uh, max uh, again? Like four thousand RPM? Four and a half thousand RPM. One hundred and sixty kilometers per hour. But I think basically don't use full load, so this kind of driving. Yeah, it's nice. I enjoy this type of Saturday drives. We were more suited for a Sunday drive, but... <laughs> Here we go, 160 down through the first dip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically, no big downshifts. Oh, we're in sport. Maybe I should take it out of sport. Because no, I, I think I actually... Uh, uh, I like it. I've just got to keep a very good job of looking behind me, indicating yes. right, keeping right. I'm surprised by the car's handling. I mean, we didn't do anything crazy, but like the first bit when you it go downhill good, it? and go over the bumps. But this is what's amazed me actually on my first day owning this car, is that even driving it gently, it feels really, really composed. Mm -hmm. There's a one series behind me who probably doesn't realize I'm out for a Sunday drive. Yep. And he's probably feeling like, why isn't he going for it? <laughs> Running in mileage, I'm afraid. Sorry, dude. You might want to overtake. You're causing a bit of a roadblock behind. <laughs> Keeping right. <laughs> oh, this is going to be cool. GT3 is coming in hot. <laughs> Nice license plate. Ring taxi. Ring taxi and 911 RSR. Nice, GT3 and GT3 RS. This is going to be the video being overtaken by loads of really cool cars. I had, I, I, honestly, I didn't expect I would like this car as much as I do. No, I'm, and just, I'm very excited for mine now. Because... For sure. I would love to be going much more closer to Mac 10 mm. around here. It's the last the time being, that's not going to happen. So, <laughs> first lap with the Nordschleifer in the Supra. Yeah. No, right, let's get to 160 exactly. Yeah. And... Try not to break the foot buds. Just okay, just don't break. And yeah, smoothly. There we go. 140, okay. but there, there is a lot more into it. For sure, with, for with, sure. with a race car, I'm doing around... 170, 175, but that's like a full-blown race car with the aerodynamics. It's like M240, oh. which is the car more or less based on. Yeah. So it's actually very good. I'm, I'm now thinking I have lots of modifications lined up for the car. Yeah. Like actually, it doesn't need it. It's actually good out of the box. The only thing I would say, the seats, there were like way too much of a GT seat, were too yeah, comfortable. Okay. So for the track, it would be like more of a bucket seat would be very good for this. Do you know something else quite fun? Mm. You're literally the first person who's ever been in my passenger seat. Oh. Because I picked it up on my own. Yeah. Drove it all the way here on my own. And now I'm joined by you. Nice, nice. <laughs> We've got so many. Hey, look, there goes the Z4. Yay. Our sister car. <laughs> it's actually quite busy right now. That's yeah. uh, right. Oh, we had the Apex taxi going past. Yep. Oh, a lot more cars coming through. Wow, it's so busy. 
Yeah, look how many also different nationalities we had. Really cool. Czech Republic, now we have Russians, we have Swiss, I think Swedish we saw as well, so I think a lot of people tried to get in their last sunny laps of the year. Yeah, because soon perfect weekend for it. Is this your slowest lap of recent times? Um, no. Definitely not. <laughs> to be honest, that is one of the things. It might be gentle and reasonably paced, but it's actually still quite a quick car. Yeah, very. I'm surprised also by the tires. They do their job very well. I mean, they're new as well, of course. But usually uh, a lot of people have the misconception like, I need the Cup 2s, I need the Cup 2Rs, I need the best of the best. Yeah. But with the Super Sports, you can just like already have a very nice Saturday afternoon with your brand new car. This is actually really cool. It just, it's actually quite nice to be driving this feeling quite chilled out. Mm -hmm. No stress, no pressure. Just cruising on round. No pressure, literally, no boost. <laughs> <laughs> cheesy, Misha, cheesy. Yeah. Right, let's keep right. A base speed limits through ad now. Nice downshift there. That sounds really good. And back into the restricted sections. And go. As much as we can go. Yep, especially since we're going uphill now. Gotta watch out for the load on the engine. Oh, it's yellow. All right, yellow flags, hazards on, back off. Take it easy for a second. The reason, of course, that you drive a car like this gently when you're running it in is to preserve the life of the engine. Mm -hmm. Life expectancy of it, and uh, ensure that servicing and everything is followed to schedule. So it seems we're now taking it pretty easy. And there we go the again. incident. It's like four and a half thousand RPM. So 2,000 kilometers, that's basically 100 laps. <laughs> We're gonna do a few more today. We're gonna get this car running on the Nordschneifer. <laughs> yeah, gentle driving only. Yeah, why not? <laughs> to be honest, I don't have a reason why not. <laughs> Other than time and cost of laps. Yeah. But hey. Well, I mean, if you would have done that, then it makes sense for you to get a year season tickets, ticket. season tickets. <laughs> yeah. How many laps have you done this year already? Not enough for a season ticket. Yeah, but season ticket, ticket break even point is about 70 laps, okay. 75. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that, but maybe 30 or something. Yeah. Enough to start having a decent idea of how this place works. Mm -hmm. Where the track's going, my left from my right. It's been really interesting actually, because I've done so many laps with you, mm -hmm. who knows this place so well. And that level of tuition just helps pick it up so much quicker than I think you ever could trying on your own. Yeah. Like, no joke, it's, I massively appreciate it. It's a big, big, big one for me to be able to come here and well, not be daunted. And... Hey, you're very welcome. I enjoy doing laps with you as well. Whether there's chasing laps with the <laughs> Senna and the, and the Pista or, or ice cream laps with the Focus RS <laughs> or breaking in laps with this. Let's see what next gonna have. You should bring your G-Wagon here. I will. The G63 <laughs> has yeah. to do a lap. I feel like every car I own isn't like properly welcome in the garage until it's done a lap around the Nürburgring. No yeah. <laughs> it's fun to see how this track uh, has gotten like a place in your heart, so to say. Yeah, it really has. Few, a few years because now the question is going to be, when are you going to build a, tr a ring tool next? <laughs> you have so many, it's a big variety of cars already in your garage. <laughs> Should this become a ring tool? <laughs> It's a very good base. I'm very impressed. I mean, for me, it was a blind guess to uh, to order this car back then because I believed that it was going to be such a good car because it's based. It has an engine of M240 B58. Yeah, it is a very very good capable engine um, based on the chassis, obviously. Yeah, Z4 or even development from a 240 towards this, and the chassis is of course developed by Supra, by by Toyota. I mean, and. I'm very oh, that's busy. Impressed. Everybody coming to watch the uh, DTM as we go through Brunchen. It's a very nice weather. Why am I in my jacket? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Here am I thinking I should be wearing shorts today. Well, actually, this morning the track opened two hours too late because it was foggy and cold. Really? That's... And, now, and now it's this sunny that uh, I forgot to take off my jacket because I'm expecting to have quite a cold day today. Come around towards little carousel. Yep. Taking it. All 
Alrighty then, this is nearly the end yep. of my maiden lap with the Supra <laughs> on the Nordschleife. I enjoyed it a lot, it made me look forward even more and reconsider my choices of modifications that I have planned for the car. I love that this was your first experience of the Supra. <laughs> yeah. I, like I feel honoured. Me too. Thank you. And out towards the Dossinger Hur, the end of the lap. I suppose our brakes aren't particularly hot. They haven't had to work very hard. No. They're good. The brakes are... The size is good on the on the Supra. The brake performance from what, what I could yeah. feel as well. The question is, of course, the compound after, like, yeah. on it on the lap, so... But yeah. There we go. I don't know what else really to say. I enjoyed this a lot. I'm very much looking forward to doing a lot more laps with this car. Yep. I feel like this is a car that is really good fun, very dialed in, and I can probably go down the modifications route and using it route without being scared of it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's pricing will be moderately in check versus some of the uh, supercars, for example. Mm -hmm. But it's also decently quick. It's it really is. decently quick. Like, in my head, is 340 horsepower. That's less than my Focus RS's. Mm -hmm. you know, stock. Less yep. than the Focus RS's stock. But it feels like so much more. Honestly, it feels like so much more than that. Well, I believe they put the the Supra on the on the dyno, and it shows like around 400 already. This feels like that. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I think it is. But but the chassis. I'm more impressed with the chassis. It's, yeah. It's, it's Composed. Very, very, very good. And we head out back into the car park. Or at the moment, quite amusingly, I haven't actually posted that this car has arrived. There are no uh, videos or anything on the internet. So, so if anybody does read the Shmi number plate, that's probably a bit like, what? Why is that car here? Nice Lizard Green GT3 RS. In fact, this is Porsche Central today. It there is. There are so many nice Porsches around. And this must be one of the first Supras. Yeah. Of them all. I'm sure, I mean, I know that some like promo cars have come around. Mm -hmm. but this must be one of the first it's customer cars, and I'm sure it will be the first A90. A90, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm just realizing the stupidity of that. Well, it's my, is it my rarest car that I've taken around the ring? Yeah, because the only car I have that there are fewer of is the Heritage RS, and we've not done that yet. Mm. We need to do a lap with the Orange RS, yeah. and with the Lusso. Then we've taken the, all the cars for a lap, <laughs> I well, think. I think the, we, we have still a bit till the end of the year. Yeah, now that we're back off the track, out of sport mode, back into normal cruising. Balance setting. Yeah, normal driving. You can't change too much. You don't have like the Z4 M40i where you can change a few more things. Mm -hmm. Steering and suspension and the whole lot. And here you've just got sport on or off. And you have traction control settings. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Um, put that into a sport mode or something. But I don't think it's particularly going to have changed anything the way mm -hmm. I was driving. Babying the car, looking after it. Just a normal day out, really. Mm -hmm. Another thing I must say that this red interior is not that bad. On the pictures, right. it was too much bright red. It yeah, it made me no, think it's like a dark red. Yeah. It's a burgundy. Yeah, it's actually good. It's just funny that like I have a red door and you have a black door. Oh. <laughs> Does that put you off? Yeah. No, it goes with the driver's own. I have a red like knee rest and door and red steering wheel, and uh -huh. your side is black dash, black door, black side. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I don't mind it. I'm very happy. It's something unique, I guess, about the A90. Yep. And you have the the sound system. Yeah, the, the A90 comes with the full, full, full options. Yeah. Yeah, mine is also premium, so I'll have yep. that. Yeah, everything. The unnecessary weight. <laughs> but the reason, reason why I got this, I said, hey, if I can buy a car with no wheels, no steering wheel, and nothing at all, and I can have it as soon as possible, then give me just that. And yeah. Like, they're like, yeah, well, you know what? The premium editions are going to be the ones that get delivered first. I'm like, great. Okay, give me that then. Yeah, you have to order it that way. Yeah. Alrighty, there we go. That's it. Done. Easy. Done. First lap of the Nürburgring Lord Nordschleife. Of many more to come. Many more to come. Thank, Thank you very much, much Misha. Thank you. See, See you next time. Look at this thing then. Of course, now splattered in bugs around the front from driving here in the first place yesterday. Some beautiful weather from the collection day all the way over towards Germany. And to be honest, this is just the beginning for this car. We will be back here and we will be driving it much more in anger very, very soon once the run-in mileage is done and the car is set and completely ready to be fully opened up. I don't actually think I showed in the engine bay at all when I collected the car, which I'm just trying to think, is it on the driver's side or the passenger side of this car? It's on the driver's side. Double pull. I'm sure some of you will be wondering what it looks like up front here. 
There we go, not too much to see underneath the plastic covers over the top, uh, but three litre twin scroll turbo engine. Uh, basically from BMW. In fact, there are quite a few BMW stamps around the car, but the two working together to make this thing in the first place. And another thing you might be asking me about, the number plate. I still need to find a solution, but I have seen an option to mount a bracket maybe under here that can hold it correctly looking tidily. So that is probably my intention at the moment, as opposed to this kind of sticker awkwardly placed in the center, if you're wondering about that. But yes, Supra here at the Nürburgring, first lap, a lot of fun, something I guess I wanted to do, bringing it straight to here from collection day, the A90 edition, I guess probably not something that any of the others are going to be doing. So big thanks as always to Misha, do go check out that blindfolded video, if you can I'll pop his channel down below. Yeah, good times with the Supra here at the Nürburgring, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!